So I don't know about you, but I don't think the audio quality of some of my recent videos have been all that great. The videos of me down at the beach have had a lot of surf noise, and the videos of me taking pictures of fireworks have had a lot of road noise from Harbor Boulevard. So I've been in the market for a wireless lav mic, one that clips right here on my shirt. Unfortunately, most of the good ones are more than $500. But a company called Fine Fine has reached out to me recently to test out their inexpensive $37 wireless lav mic, and they sent me one for free. So I figure with 28 subscribers to my channel, now is a perfect time to sell out. Welcome to Grant Takes Pictures. I'm Grant, and I take pictures. So here we have the Fine Fine wireless lav mic. So let's open this box and see what's inside. The first thing we have in the box is this headset microphone. It just has a boom that goes over your, in front of your mouth. I don't know why anybody would actually use this. Uh, maybe if you were a motivational speaker and you wanted to um, you know, really play up the role, you might use this. I think it's the only possible explanation for ever wanting this. Um, it might be better if Fine Fine just left this out of the box and reduce the price another dollar or two. I don't know, maybe it doesn't even cost them that much to make this. I have no idea. Next up in the box is a wireless transmitter. The microphone plugs into the top right here. It has a couple batteries inside, a couple double A's and just has one on off button. Very, very simple. It has a clip on the back that clips onto your belt and a little antenna. So far, seems like that works pretty well. So the wireless transmitter connects to this wireless receiver. So the wireless receiver just has an on off switch and a plug to connect to your camera or your phone or whatever you need. Obviously, this is a little bit too big to plug into most devices that people use at a consumer level. So in with the box, they also have a couple of these adapters. They have one for phones and one for cameras because phones and cameras use different standards for their plugs. So this just connects up like this and then this connects into your, into your camera. So this is designed to work with both cameras and phones. They do not have a lightning adapter for this to plug into your uh, iPhone. So what you'd have to do is add on one of the adapters that come with your phone and then plug that into the phone. So you would end up having to daisy chain a couple adapters to make it work on an iPhone at least. Um, or really, you know, most of the phones that don't have uh, headphone jacks anymore. So there's that. And finally, there's the microphone itself. So here is the microphone that clips onto your lapel. It is a kind of giant microphone. A lot of the more expensive, nicer ones have very much smaller, easier to hide uh, microphones in this. But this has a pretty solid metal clip here. Thankfully, I wear a lot of dark clothes, a lot of black jackets, dark blue uh, t-shirts, so this will probably hide pretty well on most of my, my clothing. And then the end of that just has a plug that plugs into the wireless transmitter, like so. And that's all you need to do. So turn both of these on, they should connect, and uh, you get some sound into your, uh, into your camera without a lot of background noise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go test this out at a couple different places. I'm gonna go down to the beach and go take some photos of fireworks, test it out against the Rode Video Mic Go that I am using normally on my camera, what I'm using right now, and see what the sound quality is like. See if it cuts down on some of the background noise while still maintaining a nice sound for my voice. So let's uh, go and check those out. So I'm down here at Disneyland taking pictures of fireworks and I'm testing out this uh, fine, fine lav mic. 
you might be able to hear that there is a car alarm going off and obviously fireworks going off over my head. But we're gonna see how I sound. I hope I am sounding much better than I did in my first video out here, also with a car alarm. So I have, I'm talking on the Fine Fine lav mic right now. I have my, uh, my Rode Video Mic Go hooked up to my camera as well. Um, I'm going to unplug the lav mic and plug in the boom mic, and we're gonna see how that sounds. All right, we now have the Rode Video Mic Go plugged into the camera. This is my normal microphone uh, for recording audio. You can probably hear the car alarm. It's over in that direction. You can hear the cars behind me and the fireworks above my head. So uh, we can try out the two mics. I'm gonna go back to the Fine Fine lav mic. All right, we're back to the Fine Fine lav mic. And when we get back home, we'll see how that sounds. All right, so that was down at Disneyland to see the fireworks. Let's go down to the beach and see how it works there. So I'm down here at the beach uh, in Laguna Beach today, and I'm going to test out this Fine Fine uh, wireless microphone. So right now I'm talking on the Fine Fine and we'll see how much surf background noise there is. And we're gonna switch on over to the Rode Video Mic Go and uh, see if that sounds any different. All right, we are now on the Rode Video Mic Go and uh, you know there's probably quite a bit more ocean noise behind me, but we will we'll see when we get it back home. But this was a test, we're gonna go back to the Fine Fine wireless mic. And now we're back on the Fine Fine, so let's get home and test them out. So we are back from the beach and from the fireworks show, and I've gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised with how well this little microphone worked. I normally say you get what you pay for, and with this only being $37, about 1 20th of the price of a high quality wireless lav mic system, I was not expecting much. But this really did cut down on some of the background noise when I was filming in very noisy places. Unfortunately, the sound quality, the richness of my voice when using this microphone wasn't the same as it is with the Rode Video Mic Go. It was, definitely sounded like I was a little bit more hollow. I think more tinny would be the right word to describe it. But overall, I thought this worked much better than I was expecting, like I said, and I was quite happy with it. I'm gonna continue using this Fine Fine Lab mic when I'm shooting in those places that are noisy uh, with a lot of background noise so it can pick up my voice a little bit better and hopefully I can increase the the quality of my voice through post-processing work. Now there's a couple of things I don't love about the Fine Fine Lab mic. First, this takes AA batteries, while this takes AAA batteries. I wish they used the same type of batteries. I already carry AAA batteries for my remote shutter release and for my headlamps. Sometimes I will carry double-A batteries for my flash, but I don't normally carry my flash with me. I normally leave it at home to lighten up my bag, because for landscape photography, you just don't use it that much. But because of this, I'm gonna have to start carrying double-A batteries with me all the time. The other thing I don't like about it is that on the receiver, there's no good way to mount it to your camera. This cord just hangs from the side of the camera. It would be great if there was some type of hot shoe mount for this, so it would, could just rest there on the top of the camera. What I've been doing, because I don't want this just pulling down on the microphone jack on my camera, is I've been using gaffer tape to tape this to my tripod. It's kind of a pain, I'll be honest. So, um, that is, uh, you know, the only two things I don't really like about this. Other than that, I thought this thing worked great. And if you are looking for a microphone and you don't have that much to spend, this $37 Fine Fine Lab mic would work very well. And, you know, it's probably at least a tenth the good, as good 
as the more expensive lav mics and it is 1 20th the price so that seems like a good value to me so that I'm gonna leave you there this could use a little bit of improvement but overall a great value I hope you've enjoyed this review of the fine fine lav mic if you did hit that like button if you want to see more gear review more landscape photography hit that subscribe button I'm coming to you every week and hopefully we will see you again in the near future have a great day